I want to share with you something really important about dopamine overload in our brains because this is happening to a lot of us because we're interacting with all these apps on our phones and whatever technical devices we're using and we're connected a lot in the social apps. And what it does is it produces dopamine in your brain and that's why it becomes addictive to anybody that's using it. It's particularly damaging to children with developing brains and that's a whole other video, but just adults in general. So what happens is you have dopamine that is overload, it's producing your brain, it's an overload. And your mind and your body are always trying to balance. It always wants homeostasis, it always wants to balance, okay? So when all this dopamine overload is coming into our brain, the brain says, oh, I gotta balance this, this is too much. So I'm gonna produce anxiety and depression to balance the dopamine overload. So, you know, we know a lot of us are experiencing forms of anxiety and depression and things like that. And sometimes we think it's only from external stresses, but a lot of it is what our habits, what we're doing, how we're thinking and how we're interacting with technology. So if you can try to modify how often you're checking your apps, I mean, do you really need to check Facebook on your phone 10 times or maybe twice that day would be a good you know, that kind of thing. Or it, I know it's really hard because you start to look at Instagram, TikTok, whatever you're doing, Facebook, and then all of a sudden an hour goes by, boom. And same thing, I have to watch it. Oh my God, I can't, I don't want, stop, stop, and stop it. Cause it's like, I want to be, keep on doing it, you know, because it's like my mind wants it. But if we do it too much, then we produce anxiety and depression. And then what do we do? We want to go back to the thing that gives us dopamine so we can feel better and we're in this vicious circle, okay? Um, if you want to read more about this, this is all, you know, proven by science. It's a really good article below here where there's a therapist talking about how he dealt with a patient of his that was totally addicted to video games and his anxiety and depression got so severe he wasn't even functional. And instead of giving him medication, he showed him how to pull back and have more modified, you know, guidelines and structure around his use from, with the screens. So... I highly recommend you read the article and try to implement this in your life.